Hi, I'm so glad you're here. Welcome to Old School Chemistry. We are going to talk about nuclear radiation units. There are quite a few units. Let's begin with a Curie. You might be thinking, Madame Curie. Um, so a Curie, its symbol is CI, capital C, lowercase i. It equals 3.7 times 10 to the 10 disintegrations per second. Remember, a disintegration is going to be that unstable nuclei breaking apart, all right? It's going to be a fission process. Planting a seed, one Curie is also 3.7 times 10 to the 10 becquerels. Uh, now, I wanted to remind you that Curies, we can use our metric prefixes with these. So one Curie equals 1,000 millicuries, and one Curie equals one times 10 to, 10 to the six, excuse me, micro Curies. Uh, so we can still use those same prefixes. Now, a becquerel, this is the SI base unit for our measurement of radiation. And it's tiny, oh, it's really, really small. One becquerel is one, one disintegration per second. Uh, and remember, a Curie is three times, 3.7 times 10 to the 10. Wow, that's what, 10 billion? So one Curie is 10 billion disintegrations and one becquerel is one disintegration. So really a small number. And then marrying these two together, little reminder, one Curie equals the 3.7 times 10 to the 10 becquerels because one becquerel is a disintegration per second. Nice. Now, how we apply this to humans, how we apply this to living organisms, we have some more units. Um, and then I'll pause after this and we'll do a couple of uh, calculations together. Rad, there are two important terms that, that you need, units that you need when we're talking about uh, living things. Rad stands for radiation absorbed dose. And this right here can be used for any living organism. Um, it is the amount absorbed by one gram of a substance, by one gram of this living organism. I hope when I read that you go, oh, it's a little vague. It's true, it is. It depends on the substance. Am I talking about the radiation of a plant? Or am I talking about the radiation of a dog? Um, and then it also depends on the type of radiation. Are we talking about alpha, beta, gamma radiation? Um, so this is very specific to the type of organism and the radiation that's being experienced. Um, next, we have REM. REM is radiation equivalent for man. So this is specific to humans as the living organisms. Mm. There's still a little bit of quirkiness with this though. One REM of any type of radiation produces the same amount of tissue damage. Let me read that again. One REM of any type of radiation, so gamma, beta, alpha, any type of radiation produces the same amount of tissue damage. So there are two factors really that we're looking at. We're looking at the energy of the radiation. So a little reminder, you know that gamma radiation is much stronger, uh, great, greater penetration power than alpha radiation. And we're also looking at the factors for the potential damage to tissue. So I want to give you an example. Let's say that this little part of my hand is going to be a circle, okay, like a quarter size. Um, I'm going to have this little round circle of tissue damage. If we were talking about REM, so it's going to be that amount is fixed, that much tissue damage. And then we'd be asking, well, how much gamma radiation did it take to cause that much tissue damage? Would it take a lot? Um, compared to how much alpha radiation would it take to cause that same amount of tissue damage? So what's constant in this is the amount of tissue damage. What's going to be different is the amount of the radiation. Okay, now pulling some bigger numbers together for RAM and RAD. Uh, one gray, and that's GY for its abbreviation, is 100 RAD. Remember that can be for any living organism. And then one Sievert, and that abbreviation is SV, is 100 REM, 100 REM. What I'd like to do now in just the last uh, minute here are a couple of conversions for you with our units. Um, let's review our metric conversions really quick, just so that you feel really comfortable uh, using Curie. Let's say that I have eight times 10 to the six millicurie and I want to know how many curie. You're going to do your dimensional analysis just like you've done all of the other metric conversions. There are a thousand millicurie in one curie, which means we'd have eight times 10 to the three curie right there. Nice. 
Uh, another little reminder, let's say that you're asked to convert between different prefixes. I always tell my students, go to the base one. I don't want to memorize this and I don't want my students to memorize the relationship between the different prefixes, the different metric uh, Greek prefixes. So let's say um, that again, you have your eight times 10 to the six millicurie and you're asked, well, how many microcurie is that? Bring it to the base one because you and I have memorized that there are a thousand millicurie in one curie. And then we've memorized that one curie is one times 10 to the six micro curie. Little reminder on the units, millicurie cancel. I always put that on the opposite side of the fraction to cancel. Curie cancel, and notice I'm left with micro curie. Reminder on the math, anything in the denominator, you divide, anything in the numerator, you multiply. So eight times 10 to the six divided by a thousand times one times 10 to the six, we get eight times 10 to the nine micro curie right there. Nice. Couple more that I want to do with you. Let's pull in this disintegrations per second. So I would treat that as one unit. It's a little bit easier to think of it as a block. Uh, this is super easy. If you are given disintegrations per second, 5.6 times 10 to the four, uh, disintegrations, that's a lot to say and write down <laughs> per second. And you ask for Becquerel. Well, remember, um, one Becquerel equals one disintegration degration per second. Wow. So disintegrations per second cancel out. We're left with Becquerel. And what do you notice? They're the same number. They're the same number. Uh, 5.6 times 10 to the minus 4 times 1 divided by 1, 5.6 times 10 to the minus 4. So I'm hoping that you saw something really easy and fast. If you're given disintegrations per second, you can just change that right away to Becquerel. That's going to be the same thing. That's going to be the same thing. Nice. Um, do you, I do want to do one more conversion with you between our Curie and Becquerel's. Uh, let's say that we have, I'm gonna take it a couple of steps. One times 10 to the two disintegrations per second. And remember, I could replace that with Becquerel, okay? That's going to be the same number. And let's say that I want to go to Curie's. Well, come back here. There's 3.7 times 10 to the 10 disintegrations Sorry, it's a little sloppy, I'm writing so fast, per second, in one curie. So you treat all of this as one chunk. Disintegration per second cancels disintegration per second. And then we take one times 10 to the two divided by 3.7 times 10 to the 10, and we get 2.7 times 10 to the minus nine curie. Remember, this could be the same thing as using disintegration per second as Becquerel. Becquerel, excuse me. So it could have actually been one times 10 to the two Becquerel um, and then one curious 3.7 times 10 to the 10 Becquerel. And that would still equal the 2.7 times 10 to the minus nine. Okay, nice. Chew on that, practice with it. You'll get really strong. So proud of you. Have a good day. Thanks.